Hey guys, welcome back to the BFS Fishing Channel. In this video, we're gonna be answering the question, what rod or what rods can I buy for under $50? So this video is gonna be a sister or companion video to the video I made on BFS budget reels, but this one is going to be BFS budget rods. And so really, there are only four rods that I could think of that kind of make this category. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at four rods that come in under the $50 price point. Okay. So three of these rods are going to be rods that I have direct first hand experience with. And then the last rod is a rod that came highly recommended. So we're going to be looking at the first three rods and these are coming from a company called Ace Hawk. Now all of these rods are obviously going to be available for purchase on AliExpress. As far as I know, you cannot get them on Amazon, so you're just going to have to become familiar with the AliExpress ecosystem. Now, if you're not familiar with AliExpress, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will consider making a how-to guide for navigating AliExpress, setting up your account, and then kind of tips and tricks on how to use it. Okay, with that being said, we're going to get into this and the first rod that we're going to talk about is the Ace Hawk CU Double. So if you're kind of into the BFS world, you'll know that the CU Double is kind of the rod that everybody knows and loves. So this is going to be the 602 ULL and that's coming in at about $37.52. And what we can see is, let's go ahead and go to the item description and this is going to be a six foot rod and we're going to be looking at the top model that has the specs there. So the interesting thing is that it comes with an ultra light and a light tip that kind of lets you get a lure weight rating range of about 0.5 to about six grams. The ultra light tip, they're claiming to be a fast action. And then the light tip, they're claiming to be a medium fast action. That being said, this rod is actually a very phenomenal rod and it gives you a lot of value for the price. Uh, they're using Japanese or Mitsubishi blank material and it's a 24 and 30 ton weave. And then also they're using kind of a, almost like a Torre 45 degree uh, X cross type of uh, structure in the butt section of the rod to give it a little bit more backbone. Now, the components are not going to be Fuji components. None of these rods are going to be Fuji components, and that's because they're they're obviously budget rods. So these are coming with SIC, so silicon carbide uh, rod guides, but they are Chinese sourced rod guides. The handle is kind of a point of contention with a lot of people, being that the color of the foam is actually a brown color. Some people love it, some people hate it. I actually don't mind. Um, and yeah, so, you know, for $37, that's just something that you're going to have to live with. I know Bass and Bonsai, another fellow YouTuber, has actually gone ahead and uh, altered his or modified his so that his foam grip is actually a cork grip. So if you are interested in that, I can go find that video and then kind of link it in the description below. Okay, so it comes with two tips. One is going to be the solid tip, and that's the ultra light. And then the hollow tip is the light. So really, really quick. Uh, overview of that rod. It's a great rod. I highly suggest it if you're kind of on the fence about not knowing what you actually want. This kind of covers all the bases and uh, will get you two tips. So if you break one, great. Uh, you have another one. If you do break one though, just go ahead and reach out to the manufacturer and they'll, uh, they'll do their best to make things right. Okay, so the next rod we're going to talk about is the Ace Hawk AG Venom. And so if you notice the AG and the CU, those are actually in reference to metals. So the CU stands for copper, AG stands for silver, and it's kind of their uh, grading system, I guess, of sorts. So this is the silver venom, quote unquote silver venom, and that means that it's gonna have a little bit higher components, it's gonna cost a tiny bit more, and so it's gonna give you a little bit better performance uh, for your dollar than the CU double. The one that I have experience with is going to be a 1.68 meter and that's coming in at about about five foot six and it is a medium fast rod. Um, I would say that the action kind of is in between the ultralight and the light tip of the CU double. Um, I, I do really like this rod. It's a lot 
it's lighter in weight than the CU double. The CU double handle is kind of where all the weight of that rod is. Whereas this one, because it's a split grip, it uh, it's very light in the handle, very nimble. Uh, you can flick cast with this rod. It's, uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable because it's a little bit taller, but uh, the fact that you can do that is pretty interesting and uh, pretty cool. Um, and then you can see here that the lure weight rating is from about 0.8 grams to about five grams. Uh, it is a medium fast action rod. It is a little bit on the whippy side, but um, you know I've really enjoyed using this rod and it can definitely catch uh, larger fish. All right, the third Acehawk rod is going to be the Acehawk CU Vittoria. And so this is gonna be a copper level rod and it is a rod that is actually meant specifically for what they call native trout fishing. So it's a creek and stream oriented rod and that's reflected in the height or length of the rod which is at about four foot eight inches so it's a very short rod uh, you can flick cast with this rod as well the tip is really really whippy uh, i believe that it's a solid tip rod uh, that being said the butt section of the blank has quite a bit of backbone to it and uh, i've used it to catch fish and i've really really enjoyed it the downside to this rod is that the handle is a little bit on the heavier side the handle is removable and detachable, and so it's technically, I guess, a three-piece rod, as you can see here. This also, like the AG Venom, comes with uh, Chinese-sourced silicon carbide rings or guide rings. Uh, this comes with the 2A cork handle. So the cork is not the best, but uh, you know it'll do. And then it's a 30-ton carbon fiber blank with the uh, X-Cross carbon fiber uh, in the butt section as well. So those are basically the three Ace Hawk rods that I would recommend. Oh, one more thing. Let's go over the weight rating. And that is 0.8 to 7 grams. And I would say that that's about accurate with 7 grams being a little bit on the higher end. You kind of get away from uh, efficiently loading up the, uh, the rod blank. Okay, so the last rod is a rod that was recommended by Bass and Bonsai. And... You know, I haven't actually had any experience with this rod, but for the fact that it comes in at about $37 as well, I went ahead and threw this into this guide. So this is the Mavlos Delicacy. This also comes with two rod tips. And if you see here, let's see if we can find it. It's 24 ton carbon plank. It comes with the X-Cross technology as well. And so I'm assuming that the, uh, the rod is gonna have a decent amount of backbone. And then it's a 1.8 or approximately six foot length. And the weight range is about 0.8 grams all the way up to 10 grams. So it covers a larger weight range than the, uh, the Acehawk CU double. With that being said, uh, you know, there you go. There you have it. There's four rods under $50. If you're looking for a cheap rod just to kind of get your toes into the, uh, the BFS world uh, and you don't want to commit a ton of money between these rods and then the BFS budget reels, you can have a really killer setup for a little over a hundred bucks, maybe even less if you find it at the uh, right time and on sale. Uh, if you guys have any questions about these uh, rods or the reels and the other guide, or if you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see in the future, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much. And uh, this is going to be the last video of 2022. So thank you to everybody who's kind of followed along in the journey. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. And I will see you in 2023. Peace, peace.